I'm Cricket, K-R-I-K-E-T. Woo! I'm a regular here. Yay. And uh, I uh, usually just share some poetry, which is all I've got tonight. But um, I want you to see that I've been slowed down. I asked the universe several months ago, what can I do to slow down? <laughs> I get it. I used to suffer mania at this time of year, and, and I, was, I thought I was getting prepared for it so that I would channel my energy. Well, I got stopped, pushing a wheelbarrow. I'm a landscaper and a poet. I'm now a poet with landscaping experience. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I have to get someone else to do it. And that is not easy for me. I'm a doer, I'm a goer. I've got the attention span of, well, a cricket. And <laughs> so I don't always get a lot done when I'm doing, but I am doing all the time. And these last two weeks, I've not done a lot of doing. I've done a lot of sitting and being. This first piece doesn't have a title. cook up a gourmet meal? Has he suffered near starvation or dined on the finest cuisine ever known? He who can build marble palaces, has he huddled in abandoned caves and desolate streets or rolled in comfort and beauty? He, he who can stitch fine and exotic garments, has he been exposed to the elements without a coat or wrapped himself in linen and silk? He who is in the crowded subway, possibly suffers loneliness beyond description. But he who is grateful for his solitude knows serenity and joy. What exactly is wealth? Is power? Is survival? Reject the system. It is a choice. Japan, chickens are sacred. And I don't see myself as sacred, but I do see myself as spiritual. One of my favorite oh, phrases or scriptures is love thy neighbor. And so I wrote a poem, love thy neighbor. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and manage the monotonous. My downstairs neighbor has trouble with her sleep routine and has casually and politely mentioned that I disrupt her rest when I clump, clump across the floor in my boots. So, I wait to put them on until I'm headed out the door, and I take them off when I get home. I do my wild aerobic dancing on tiptoe in front of Saturday morning cartoons and Tuesday night info commercials. All is well. <laughs> then there's my ninja neighbor, who has a way of appearing, disappearing, then suddenly reappearing in a variety of different costumes and disguises, constantly surprising and bewildering me. I simply remember, she is she, they are they, I am me, and this is good. <laughs> Love doesn't always feel safe, comfortable, thrilling, or pleasant. Love is an action verb that defines and clarifies energy and ex existence. Kind of like coloring outside the lines or mistakenly amputating the left foot from your paper doll cutout. I just sometimes wonder if washing my dishes or making peanut butter cookies at 3 in the morning to the gentle throb of Bob Dylan is going to disturb my neighbors. You just go right ahead and squawk, you silly old jaybird. Yeah, you squawk. Breakfast is served. <laughs> one of the pieces I wrote a long time ago is called Living Like a Hero, and it's one of my favorite, it's one of my biggest hits. This is kind of a, um, an extension of that. Living like a hero means finding your comfort zone, then inviting your friends to join you there. Living like a hero means making room on your spiritual growth chart for attitude adjustments, perception checks, and gratitude lists. Living like a hero means sometimes surrendering to the universe and allowing yourself to ricochet off other heroes, trusting you'll find your anger when you need it most. Tonight, you're my heroes. You're my anchors. Because you got here tonight.